Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> it's the 16th of April. It's Tuesday morning, and I'm going to talk about one of the most wonderful words in the Bible. Can you guess what that word would be? Many would say love, which is a, a great word, but I'm going to be talking about grace grace. You know, when we think of the word grace, um, what do you actually use? Many think that it's, you know, just simply uh, unmerited, uh, unmerited favor, which it is, meaning we get something we don't deserve, right? We get something we don't deserve. Also, we get honor and credit for something someone else did. We get honor and credit for something someone Christ died on the cruel and rugged cross of Calvary, we got credit for that because he paid the price for our sins. The influence of divine grace in a person's life is having the favor of God is more than just salvation though it's also uh, comes with many blessings this grace of God in Ephesians 1 we're told that we're blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus God has shown us goodwill. <laughs> He's shown us His good grace. You know, if you go to um, one of my favorite applications online, of course, as you all know, is the King James Bible online and if you do a word search on grace, you'll find that it's mentioned many times. We are, fi we are told in Romans 5.15, But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one, one many be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath abounded unto many. Hundreds of millions of people have been recipients of God's grace. We're told that from every tongue, every people, and every nation. Hebrews 4.16 Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Have you ever had a situation in your life where you were just discouraged and it seemed like you were more you were prone to sin and God brings us to ourself at times and you find yourself fleeing to Christ and petitioning for his forgiveness that's grace that's evidence that there's grace that's been given to you. John 1, 16, And of his fullness have all we received in grace for grace. 1 Corinthians 15, 10 says, But by the grace of God I am what I am. It's not because of something good in the creature, because there's nothing good in the creature. 
but by the grace of God I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me. Yet I labored no more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. People have a hard time distinguishing grace from works. Paul says in Romans 1, 11, 6, And if by grace, then it is no more of works, otherwise grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace, otherwise work is no more work. You know, James 4, 6, But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. If man thinks he can do something by himself, of his own free will, which doesn't exist, it's not much of a sign that he's been given grace. But if a, if a man says, I can't do anything without the grace of God, that shows that he's been a recipient of grace, doesn't it? Second Timothy 2 Timothy 2.1 Now therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Many times, Paul will end his letters with the phrase, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Romans 3.24 Being justified freely by his grace, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. We are justified by the grace of Jesus Christ. Now the word grace is mentioned 159 times in the Bible. So it must have some relative importance to the Christian. Romans 11.5, even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. You cannot have unmerited favor of God without the election of God. <laughs> and you can't have election of God without predestination. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world. John 1 17 the law was given by Moses but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ Ephesians 2 5 even when we were dead in sins hath quickened us together with Christ by grace ye are saved Ephesians 2 8 for by grace are ye saved through faith that not of yourselves it is a gift of God Titus 3 7 that being justified by his grace we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life if we have any hope if we have any faith if we have any joy it's only because we've been given it through the grace of Jesus Christ Galatians 1.15 says, But when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace. We see effectual calling and grace are inseparable. He would have never effectually called us if he hadn't given us his grace. The gift of grace. Romans 5 2 by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God we have access into this we have access by the faith of Christ into the grace of Christ we find in Genesis 6 8 that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord Proverbs 3:34 Surely he scorneth the scorners but he giveth 
grace unto the lowly. Ephesians 3 2. If you've heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you, word. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. Ephesians 4, 7, every, unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Philemon 1, 3, grace to you and peace from God our Father and from and the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 1, 4, I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ. Galatians 2.21 I do not frustrate the grace of God for if righteousness come by the law then Christ is dead in vain. <coughs> Acts 15.11 But we believe that through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ we shall be saved even as they. Romans 6.15 What then shall we sin? Because we are under the law but under, under grace God forbid. Ephesians 1 6 to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us that's called irresistible when he made us accepted in the beloved we're a recipient of his imputed righteousness Romans 5 21 that as sin hath reigned unto death even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord Ephesians 3 7 whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power Romans 16 20 and the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all amen Well, this is a big subject, the grace of God, when we find it's found 156 times, 159 times in the Bible. We can't cover it all this morning. But I'm glad that we've been recipients of the grace of God, you know. And that when we get discouraged, when we're downhearted, and we find ourselves praying to Christ, that's evidence that be, we have been recipients of his grace. <coughs> you know, so let us never forget uh, God's amazing grace. and May the good Lord be with you this, in a special way today and may his grace abound in you more and more. You know, and may we always be reminded that as God's children, we have been recipients of God's amazing grace. And let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. May the good Lord be with you in a special way today is my prayer. <coughs>